by Chicken Coop. Part one. This video is going to be a time lapse video of me building the chicken coop. This is a 20 minute video, time lapse video. I had multiple days of footage and I was able to edit down to this. There's lots of good clips in here. So hopefully you enjoy and please like and subscribe. So we decided to build a chicken coop on a hill. So here I am leveling the ground for the Chicken Coop Foundation. Look at my little daughter Skylar. She's two years old. Such a great daddy's little helper. God bless. I finished with leveling the hillside. Now it's time to get to building. That's my dog Ruger, my buddy. Look who's back, daddy's little helper. So for this chicken coop, I'm gonna pre-build all the walls, pre-build everything, and then install later. Everything's gonna be glued and pocket screwed. All this material that you see here is recycled from projects, old projects of mine. It's pretty neat, saving me a lot of money. Look at Skylar go, she really is a natural builder. She's really trying to help. She's really good, look at her. Really building some stuff. So here I am building the roof rafters. As you can see, I'm cutting out the bird's mouth there, and I had to make uh, quite a few of these. Everything's pre-cut. Uh, I think it was a 6 and 12. Everything's pocket screwed, glued pocket screwed. All redwood, all recycled redwood that I had from other projects, like I said earlier. The rafters completed. Check. Here I am building the doors for the hen house. Two doors and a bottom door. It's a total of three doors. You see there I'm checking for square. Adjusting. Because it's all glued and pocket screwed. And once it's dry, it's, it's stuck where it's at, so if you're ever doing something like this, always check for square. Where'd my little helper go? She was just here. Oh man. Boring. building the chicken coop entry door and this is the the red painted door in the previous video As you see here, I'm notching out all the rafters, 
beforehand for, for outlookers and then upcoming here you'll see I also pre-notched all the outlookers and blocks for the chicken coop for backing for the metal roofing. So the reason why I'm doing this notching is there has to be a block line all the way down the, the roof of the chicken coop for backing for the metal roofing. So I thought that this would be a really strong joint by notching out three quarters on the two by fours and three quarters on the rafters instead of cut, cutting individual blocks. It's a really um, good system. It's a really good system if you do your layout right. If you don't, then you do this for nothing. So be warned, do it right the first time. Double check. So I'm all finished now. I got all the most of the framing done. Rafters there, pre-cut, all the blocks are pre-cut. All the walls are done. All the doors are done, as you can see there. And then you got the plywood there. Recycled plywood that I'm gonna use to cover the coop up with, hen house. There's another wall. Looking good. Putting up all my blocks on the top of the wall here for the roof rafters. Getting that done, wrapping that up. And then the next thing is paint. We're gonna go to the paint shop, which is right there. Here's all the framing all set up, ready to paint, and I'm st starting the painting. Painting complete! Here's me installing some half inch hardware cloth. This is the only video that I'm doing of this. It's pretty straightforward. So coming up here, I got the walls installed in the roof and um, looking good. Looking very pretty. 18 by six feet wide. So if you look up on the roof there, those are those two by fours that I was notching, pre-notching, and they worked great. They fit right in. I still have a long ways to go believe it or not. The metal roof is on. Here I am screwing it off. Next I'm going to put the ridge cap on. The product that you see in the picture here is called Vista Vent. It's a venting product that goes under the ridge cap so critters can't get inside the coop but air can flow out. Vista vent product is super easy to install. It has a, a sticky caulking material on the bottom and you just roll it out and push it down. And then you put your ridge cap over it and screw it down and that's it. Simple enough. Time to install the ridge cap.
So now I'm in trim mode. I'm trimming the windows here. And then um, I'm gonna start doing the battens after I trim all the windows out. And then um, the windows, the actual windows go in after I trim everything out. As you'll see later in the video. making the windows now pretty neat little windows everything's made out of redwood pretty simple just screwing the ends there as you can see gluing and screwing making sure everything's square pretty neat little windows they came out really nice they're not perfect but but for a chicken coop they're pretty cool install the windows. Looking good. If you look on the walls, there's a bunch of holidays, the white paint there. And then there's a bunch of uh, nail staple holes on all the trim that I have there. And later on in the project, I came back and filled all those, did some caulking and touch up, and it's, and it's no longer there. So now I'm starting the egg laying hutches, and here's a little uh, a template that I made on a piece of plywood so I could measure everything and make sure everything was the same, because I had to build four of these, these uh, end walls here. And I, I, I marked it all out in the piece of plywood and then just double checked everything and made sure they were all the same. You should do the same if you do one of these. These egg laying hutches were a project of their own. I had to build two of them. As you can see, these are quite a bit of work. 
This is just the framing. After this, they have to be painted, and then a door has to be built, and then it has to be trimmed out, and then touched up, and then installed onto the chicken coop. Oh, and I forgot, also you have to build the chicken dividers in, that go inside of the egg laying hut, also. put the corrugated roofing on the egg laying hutches and um, normally I wouldn't do it this way so what I did is I put a big giant bead of caulking on the top edge there and then just screwed it down and then put another bead uh, uh, where the where the metal meets the wall there and and then just had a clean a wet rag and, and cleaned it up and made it look really nice and um, and the reason why I wouldn't do that later on or on a house is because most likely that's going to leak at some point and you'd want to do some kind of flashing but I didn't want to put flashing on there because it, it would make the chicken cook look so ugly and you can see there in this picture here it looks pretty clean as, uh, as you can see I did a really good job caulking that um, yeah so hopefully if you do this you could do the same it's not easy to make it look that nice usually people that do caulking make it look make a freaking mess so the chicken coop is pretty much complete. I'm going to go around and do paint touch up and some clean up, put all the tools away, and then that's it. Um, she's ready, ready, ready to go. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Help support my channel.